Hello, 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 and welcome to Living Shadow Tarot. Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> yes, I had to do the whole chair spin. It was the whole thing. I had to do the whole spin. I've been waiting for like, since I got the chair to do the spin on camera. I had to do it. I wish I could do it all the way around and do the full thing with the cat. That would have been the best. Okay. Because y'all know I'm over here playing this jolly ass music and I'm sitting here with this witch head on like the Grinch. <laughs> So, we're going to get into this reading, the holiday Christmas reading, okay? The ho-ho-ho reading for you ho-ho-hos. Mm-hmm. For real, okay? If you are new to this channel, I do tarot videos, and I am crazy. I don't really give a fuck about a lot of shit no more, because you see how 2020 went, okay? Who got time to give a fuck no more? Not me. So, this is going to be a collective Christmas reading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you do like this vibe, please subscribe. Feel the vibe and subscribe. Feel the vibe and subscribe. That's what I always say. Okay. 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 Oh, let me tell you something else. So, look. <laughs> if you... Down in the description below is going to be my site where you can get a Zodiac shirt if you wanted to. A personal reading if you wanted to. Now, mind you, um, I do have a lot of things to catch up on because this Christmas was a lot. So, um, it may take a little second to get to that personal. But, I'm going to get there. <laughs> I'm just forewarning though because I don't think, just don't expect like an immediate return. Because I'll be trying to get in the zone to do a lot of things. Like, I'm in the zone right now. And then I got to get in the zone back later on, especially after I go to this Christmas dinner. Because Lord knows I'm not trying to go to this Christmas dinner with this lady who calls herself my mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. We got a good one. Okay. So we got Ten of Swords in reverse. Cycle broken over. You finally just, you're letting yourself feel it, right? The tower in reverse. So, you probably let yourself admit to something, and now it's like you gotta walk, you're having that moment where it's like, okay, I admit, I did this, and then, boom, 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 the tire will hit right after you admit to that. Okay. Ace of Wands here. Then something new comes in. See, this is what happens. This is what happens with life. Y'all gotta understand the philosophies and the seraphities of life. Okay. The second you admit... That you are hurt by something, or that's, or that there is pain involved. It's the second you can start healing from it. That's it. It's the admission. It's the admission. It's the admission, right? It's the admission that you just hanging on, hanging on for no reason, for no reason, for no reason, just hanging on to whatever it is. That's why this is the I don't give a fuck reading. Christmas. I don't give a fuck. That's what we gonna name it. I don't give a fuck. Christmas. <laughs> That's the name of this reading on the YouTube. <laughs> uh, I don't give a fuck. Christmas. <laughs> oh, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I'm finna cut some things out. Like, this just don't make even make sense. You know? It just don't even make sense to be worried about some stuff. It don't even make sense to be worried about the future, about love, about all this other shit. Because we just got right now. Be happy now. With the sun. Be happy now. We got the chariot. And then we got the king of swords. So we got the king and the queen of swords out here. I see a match. Look, look. I'm tarot tender now, apparently. <laughs> we gonna match people up with some cards. That would be kind of cool, though, if they could do that. Like, like legit. Could they really do that? Because I think that would be kind of cool if they could, you know. Now, if y'all take this idea, go to Tinder, some run me my check. But, um, I'm just saying. I, I don't play about the check. I don't. <laughs> I do not. Okay. You see, it's Christmas. <laughs> the witch got to get paid. Okay. I 
tell y'all, this year has just been so much bullshit. It has. It has, it has, it has, it has, it has. So I just feel y'all on this energy of just not giving a fuck about shit. For real, for real. Yes, you're just tired of instability. You're tired of being worried. You're tired of being anxious. King of Pentacles, you're dying for stability. Dying for just something to just... You know, make you just not be afraid no more. Right? Hair off mine. You're just dying for some spiritual teaching, right? Now, here's the thing. I was researching. This is why I didn't get a chance to do the video yesterday because I fell down into a wormhole. Okay, you know, when you look up something and then you're like, ooh, that's interesting. What about this? And then this, and then this, and then this. And then you start drafting like a whole theory. Like, I literally got like four pages of tarot theory that y'all probably, the tarot readers who've been reading is going to be kind of mad at me because um, some of the stuff I've been researching, we might fuck the game up here. Because the Hierophant, to me, is Chiron with these keys. It has the key symbol, right? Spiritual teachings. What do we have to do? We got to get through our wound center, right? So who else to do that but Chiron, the healer, as the Hierophant? So I'm saying I've been looking it up. I've seen there was well, at least one article that proved it, but it doesn't seem like it would be a bad theory. So just putting that out there. So I'm getting to this, you really want something stable as you work through your wounds, right? As you let go with this Four of Pentacles. As you let go and you work through the wounds that you have. And again, so this is what I'm saying. Like if somebody, look, like whoever is looking at this chart or looking at the looking at this reading, right? Go down below in the description, astrocharts.com to get your birth chart for free. Put in everything, right? You want to know everything about yourself. You don't want to be sitting around here just calling by your sun sign or living by your sun sign. No, you are way more than just a sun. There's a whole universe. You got to explore all of it, okay? All of it. Every little piece. Every little piece, okay? So when you look at this Chiron, so we got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck too, right? This is intuition happening right here, right here. Look at that Chiron. I'm telling you, look at that Chiron in your chart because you will really start to be like, oh, this just like this is just a thing that just automatically hurts me, right? Um, for example, I'm a Virgo Chiron. Literally, <laughs> my self criticism is probably the worst thing ever in my life, and that's the thing I need to get over, and that's the thing I'm working on getting over. But that's literally the like I get paralyzed with fear because of that Chiron. Because that is like the mother wound. That's what they call it in, in psychology. They call it the mother wound, right? That was the wound that starts all wounds. The wound that that just, um, once you heal that one, or once you begin the process of healing that one, is the one where you just never go back. So, I'm telling you, it's a lot of these different things mixed together. I've been doing some research. I got pages. Now, if you want to hear what that research turns out to be, you're actually going to have to go to the archive. That's also linked in the description below. <laughs> Look, every time I get a couple cards in, then we got a whole other thing to promote, okay? <laughs> oh, that's really how it is. That's really how it is. I really want to start doing more of this stuff. This is interesting. It's very, very interesting. The connections that I'm seeing here. Because there's a lot of these... Um, Things that are just, it seems like they're being told, but they're the same people, just different names, right? So, the theory of past lives really comes through again and again and again. These are the same people doing the same things, but just with different names attached to them. Yes, look into the future, right? Look into the future, look into the future, look into the future. Okay. Ooh, I got back to that. I remember this when I had that red and black and that white, the little flower thing. I'm back to this again. It's on the Hierophant. Oh, no, excuse me, not on the Hierophant. On the Two of Wands. Looking to the future, right? Looking to the future with this person looking towards marriage with the Hierophant here. Okay. Now, the Two of Wands means you looking because you about to make a move. You can't, you can't have some wands. All these wands out here is moves being made, Okay. Wands, oh, we got, well, a pinnacle and a, someone finally opening up, but, 
Okay, then we got Nine of Swords. <laughs> good, good, get back to the reading. Okay, Nine of Swords, um, Nine of Cups. Excuse me, my mind's going too fast. I'm seeing this Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter. So, okay. Basically, you look into the future and you start to rush in, right? Ready. Rush in. Ready. Then we got the Wheel of Fortune here. This is just breaking a cycle, I feel like. It's like, once you do something, once you take a leap, that's what breaks the cycle, right? Then we have the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune here. Which means that everything is telling you to make this move. Whatever move it is you're trying to make, whatever thing it is you're trying to do, do just just bump it up out the way. 2020 is about to end, okay? You see how bad life can change, how everything can just switch up in a moment. Don't be trying to hold on to something that don't, like, the only thing that is stable is you as a person. Nothing else around you that you hold on to is stable, not the place that you're living in. The place that you live in is not going to give a fuck about you after you gone, okay? The only thing you have to do is worry about yourself and your happiness and your joy. Truly. 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 We gonna pull some more wings, but I don't give a fuck Christmas. Strength. Yes. I'm telling y'all. Um, so the zodiac signs that are out here, because I have not, this is the second Leo card, so now I feel like I need to say it. <laughs> So we got the sun and we got strength. So, and I did just have that speech earlier about Chiron. So you may want to check there too. Okay, you may want to check there too. I don't know if you have a Leo Chiron or or what, but I know I just had a whole speech about Chiron earlier in the reading. So I'm assuming that that's also going to be included, especially if you have that, that you probably want to extra double look. Now you could also look if you have a Taurus Chiron too, because... The Hierophant is a Taurus card, and we have the King of Pentacles, which is also would be a Taurus card. The Chariot is Cancer, Wheel of Fortune, um, Scorpio, of course, Aquarius, of course, um, Leo. Oh, wait a minute, we got three Leo cards. Duh, hello, I always forget. <laughs> and there's Taurus on here too, so we got three Taurus and three Leo, okay? I'm telling you, I want that counter. Okay, why is, why is run, run, this is the whole public domain, okay? I don't know if y'all can even hear the music, but I got music in the background, and I, I can't with this Run Run Rudolph. I just feel like I'm back working at McDonald's at night. I can't do that shit no more. <laughs> okay, I was about ready to cut the people y'all playing the same as so every single day up in there. That same playlist. Every single day of that same tired ass Christmas music. <laughs> and she had it on. I think I started working there in September that year. And she had that thing on. All the way into January. I was like, damn, she can't find something else to play. Nothing else. Not a damn thing else. And there ain't no radio. We can't bring in a CD or something. Y'all ain't got like an you ain't got a hookup, y'all ain't got Bluetooth? What, what's going on? Like, we can't I can't have that same sad little song every single day. I'm over here. Woo 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 Christmas. Here we go, six of pentacles. <laughs> Cause that show was on the same. Okay. Yeah, it's balancing out some things. Balancing out some things. This is material balance, making choices, making strategies, strategizing, strategizing, right? Strategizing. Because you want to figure out how you're going to do this and how you're going to do that and this and that and everything else and give what to where and whom to what and, you know, plan it all out, plan it all out, plan it all out, plan it on out. That's the good, well, don't over plan to the point where you never do it. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords came out in reverse and the world came out in reverse. So this is the other cycle breaker card. You know, the world is Saturn, so we got Jupiter and Saturn, both there, right? So maybe you're not watching the, sa like, it's like you're not watching the cycle break, or, let me see here. <sighs> I don't even 
know if y'all can hear that music, but I just got pissed as fuck. <laughs> I was trying to do something to be festive, and they ain't get to nothing good yet. I was waiting for at least a good song. Y'all could have put on a Whitney or something. You know, something. Um, <laughs> this page of swords in this world here in reverse. <sighs> You're not seeing something. You're not seeing something, and it's not caught, and it's breaking the cycle, right? You're not seeing something, or you're not. God, what is it? It's like. You don't want to say something. But what is it that you don't want to say? like you want it's like some I've, i'm really getting the energy of somebody wants to make something right and they don't know what to say right that's why i'm like okay we gotta turn this music down everything because this is a this is a deep one okay it got it got real in there real fast but that's why maybe it's karma maybe it's karma with saturn here for the world being saturn because Saturn does rule karma and discipline, right? And maybe you're not seeing the equal balance of your karma right now. Right? Or you're not conquering it with the strength. Yeah, that's more what it is. You're not, um, you don't feel like you're strong enough to balance this thing out, right? And so you almost just stop looking for the cycle to end. Because it's it's become something that you've gotten used to. I'll put it that way. It's like you got used to it. I'm saying, hey, if you don't like the reading, get another reader. We got the fool here. So, okay. So we got the fool here, right? And again with this little white flower. What in the world? I ain't never seen. It's a, okay, so look, y'all. I ain't never seen this little white. I don't know if this is going to zoom in right. This little white flower. It's so tiny. It's adorable. Where is it? Bring it back. Move forward. Bring it back. Here it is. <laughs> I told you I'm not a camera person I do not know how this shit works I'm just on the YouTubes Because the spirits told me to get on the YouTubes Okay So that's why I'm here Um, It's like you're going towards something very very innocently Very very innocently Oh no You know it's so uh... <laughs> When you begin the same cards in readings, I just, like, sometimes you just feel haunted. <laughs> we got nine of wands, <laughs> two of pentacles in reverse, eight of cups in reverse, five of swords, or excuse me, five of wands and ten of wands, right? So it's a struggle, it's a burden, the burden's getting heavy, the burden's getting heavy. Oh my gosh, what am I ever going to do? I keep fighting myself, I keep being stuck. I know what I should do, but I just don't do it anyway. So why do you watch a read when you already know? You must not know. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching a reading to get further confirmation unless you already knew. Unless you didn't know, right? Because if you knew, then just do the thing and move on. Like, and I'm not trying to be mean about it, but it's like, this is what I'm seeing here. You really struggling. And again, I had that whole speech when the Hierophant came out about Chiron. I had the whole speech. So, it's like you struggling with this mother wound so deep. And it's not even that, and here's the thing about it. It's not even that it's a bad thing. It's the admission. 
right? This page of swords in reverse to me, it's just the admission to yourself, you telling yourself that yes, I do have this wounding. That's what I said in the very beginning of the reading. When you accept the fact that you've been hurt, it all just, it can start, it starts healing immediately. That's the first step. And you get to, like, getting get to step one is the hardest part. Getting to step two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is a lot easier after you get to step one. Shit, because if you can climb up one damn step, you can climb up the rest of the steps. Ooh, hello. Two of Cups. Bam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, they came up. So they just reconfirming themselves. I'm just redoing the same reading I just did. So this is what I really feel like is the issue. And why I really haven't been doing that many videos? Because I just, I feel like I'm getting the same reading. Over, like, everybody's in, like, the same space. Or in, like, the same energy of purging for 2020. So it's like, why did you even post the video? <laughs> you know? Like, everybody's doing this. Like, everybody's on the same tip. Not in a bad way. Not to say anybody else shouldn't be posting videos. Clearly, I'm about to post this. But, um, just saying, like, we are really in a deep... A uh, pot of working on it. <laughs> a deep pot of working on it. A deep pot of working on it. Anything else, spirit? Are you gonna give me the same cards you was just giving me? The devil. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Now, if you need further thing about Saturn, that's right there. So I'm getting relationship karma. In love with just bad habits. Bad habits. Obsession, addiction. So now this is the other theory I have going sore into this, right? That if we do a birth chart off, like, you know, I feel like the major arcana can kind of be used for a birth chart for planets and also for zodiac, right? But so the devil in a birth chart to me was the descendant. Seventh house. I say that because so <laughs> it's a weird basis, you guys. I was looking to see all the four that had wings, right? There's temperance, judgment, the devil, and the lovers. So I had the lovers. Oh no, excuse me. Was the lovers seventh house? And this was oh, let me get my name. Hold on. It was a whole theory I had. I'm sorry. Y'all don't want to hear this. I apologize, but I put my theories out there. No, I'm be, I'm be over here working. Okay. Work. Yes. Yeah, the devil was... No, your devil was your um, fourth house. I see. Emblem coli. Right? This is the one where your family life, right? And it's kind of like the struggles with your family life, with your home life, all that type of stuff. So, whereas, if it would stop with this horn. <laughs> Let me get my dog back out here because I had a whole theory. Okay, I had a whole theory. Um, da, 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 da. Right, because the IC, right, is your bottom of the sky. It refers to your father wound or, um, like, father issues and things like that. Because I was looking to see, there's been a whole thing. Look, now I'm just getting into theory. <laughs> we just switched from a Christmas reading <laughs> to a whole uh, little session. Now we're going to go into therapy. How's this? How? Merry fucking Christmas. Yes. Yes, this is all this. Okay. okay. Go in that archive. We're going to get some things settled out. Right? Because, yes. The id. Mm-hmm. That could be the id, too. But I was um, looking to see, because this is the underworld card. This is the underworld area. I see is the underworld. Is the death area. Is the demon area. So this would be the card to represent that in your chart for a fourth house. I'm trying to get all my things here. Yeah, because that would be... Cause that's where it has your father wounding in your in your um house issues. In other words, 
Chiron is where you have your own personal issues, right? That's not the mother wounds. Well, I mean, that's the, what the psychology calls the mother wounds. But Chiron would be like what you do to yourself. This would be like how you were raised in your home life, right? And this would be like what, what your parents may have done. Now, this normally goes to the father's side. And then um, if you go look at Midhaven, Midhaven would be the mother's side of that. Midhaven is 10th house. I told you I'm trying to learn these houses, okay? I'm trying to get this all together, formulated in my mind. So, um, but yes, it's like Chiron would be your karmic lessons, and 10th house is like your public racing career face, right? So, and for 10th house, I had is the MC would be the judgment card, which is the Scorpio card, which basically means that you're going inside, right? You're seeing yourself from the inside and not the public side, which is what for Midhaven people will see you with the public face and you don't see yourself in that way. You're you're too busy looking within to see how people see you without or on the outside. Then we got Eight of Swords and the Hermit. Yes, afraid to speak up in hermit mode. Now, I also got... <laughs> I'm telling y'all, the tarot is going to be mad at me. It's going to be mad at me. If I keep looking up stuff and getting downloads and things. But um, So, if you ever look at the asteroids in your chart. So, here's the thing. Is that the chart is primarily um, masculine. Because we only have two... Um, feminine places in your in your normal everyday um, if you don't add the extras on their chart, right? If you know your sun, you know your sun. If you go down, um, the moon and Venus are the only two placements that are feminine. Mercury would be um, it's either way, non-binary. I would consider just a non-binary planet. And then we have um, the masculine planet, sun all the way down to Pluto, right? Except for the moon and Venus. So, to balance out your chart, as we were talking about before, yin-yang balance, hello, ding-ding-ding, subscribe to this channel, then <laughs> tell everybody you know, <laughs> and everybody who you know, who they done told that they know, tell them that they know somebody who can tell somebody else that they know something, because we're going to learn something today, okay? It's a whole after school, after school class over here, okay? Um, then we got the feminine ones, which would be Lilith, right? The id in your mind. Ceres, Juno, Vesta, and Platas. And, oh no, Payas. I think it's Payas. Anyway. Um, but those are the god. well not Lilith, but the other four are the goddess asteroids, which basically balance out your chart to make it a lot more uh, feminine. Or not a lot more equally balanced. So you're getting things from both sides of your... Um, information you're understanding both sides of your personality you're understanding both sides of your um duality like what with this side is what has going on and what this side has going on so it's not just all um we may work on this stuff but we may work on this stuff a little bit one-sided so then we got vesta right so vesta is the hermit card right and it shows your devotion right where, where are you devoted to that you and you may have to go within and look and find out what it is that you may be devoted to and this is also um she also does sexuality as well so are you devoted to like doing one like something a certain type of way is there a certain fixation here is there a certain um blockage that you have here that you're just not ready to give up on but you know you should give up on it which i mean judging by the whole reading that we didn't had because we did just been a whole reading and the whole reading um there's been the same message like three or four times you're trying to give up on something you you having a hard time giving up on something that you're clearly devoted to like devoted 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 to but um and you feel kind of trapped by it. And again, we have this Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Pick a card. Okay. It's like a come on down. Now, this is also a Virgo card here with the Hermit. But I'm telling you that Vesta. I'm, I'm, I'm claiming it. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. But I'm gonna put it out there. 
doing some research late night, working, working, <laughs> and the pentacles, working. Okay, so we're going to clear some things, break some things, get the healing from the reading. Now we don't rhyme as much, but you know, Jasper, this little cat. I'm going to see y'all later. Have a merry, 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 merry Christmas. I give you the gift of trauma healing. Goodbye. <laughs>